hey so what exactly is robotics and how is that we get to learn about it so i've been doing my research and i found that there are so many people who are actually searching for what exactly is robotics and how do we get started about it well this is arun raji from my robo chakra and this video is yet another information video on what robotics is and some important stuff which we would like to share with our audience and stay till the last where we would be describing on what exactly is robotics and how do you get started with this okay let's dive deep into the video well hi and this is arun rajiv from my robo chakra and this video is all about what exactly is robotics and how is that we are going to learn about it and how do we start about learning about it? Uh, let me tell you robotics in simple terms there are so many different definitions of what robotics is robotics is about but in simple terms i would like to tell robotics is nothing but it is the science or the subject or the field of study in which we learn to create robots it is as simple as that it is the subject in which we learn to create robots so and that subject is called robotics so where did exactly this particular name come from so it was the year 1941 where one of the fictional writers it is he is not a scientist he is like the fictional writer uh, he is a russian and his name is isaac asimov and uh, he brought in this particular name called robotics in one of his uh, tale called liar and uh, that is where the first usage of this term robotics is used and this particular word called robot is got from an old church slavonic word called robota which means that like a servant or a slave it's something which is like okay the person who does whatever job is asked to be done and that is the particular name given to that and uh, it is called robota and from there robot is in uh, robot is taken and from there the robotics is formed so fast forward to our present day so what is robotics and as i said robotics is the subject through which we learn to create different robots and uh, what are the things which is involved in robotics so i would like to tell what robotics according to me is it is a combination of mechanical electronics and coding okay so suppose you are uh, learning something in robotics it involves mechanical and electronics and coding so any robot you try to create any robot you try to create you will have to first understand the mechanical aspect of that particular robot and then you need to power it up with the electronics so that it starts moving whether the motors have to move whether the indication lights has to come whether there has to be a sound sensor there has to be a sound all those comes with the electronics part and what controls the electronics is the coding where you need to understand how to write a code so that the electronics works the way it has to work and then it controls the mechanical aspect and hence the entire robot works okay so that simple is what robotics means we don't want to hear about all those big jargon words or the bs which is all around the internet about robotics and this. let's keep it simple and that makes it easy for us to consume what robotics is about then comes the next question of how do we start learning about robotics well uh, to us according to us we would like to tell that robotics can be learned from an age group of 8 years and above so 8 and 9 years is when the child try to understand that there is not like a constructive they start to learn okay they, you can actually start constructing things because just before that particular age uh, students are more of a destructive nature they just want to like break things see inside because we have seen a lot of parents coming and telling us that he is so excited that he always opens up the stuff to see what is inside right and it is not like that he is like actually destructing the part okay and so when at the age of 8 9 and 10 and all that is when they start thinking about constructing and if we are able to train them into that side uh, where we can teach them okay this is how it has to be constructed and there it starts the actual uh, world or actual uh, space where he starts to he or she starts to understand okay this is how a mechanical device is constructed and then even at that age the electronics part is little difficult but they start to understand the coding algorithm okay when the student is at the age group of 10 years or something they clearly understand what is the kind of algorithm how which comes first which comes second and those coding is what is going to control the electronics and from there the electronic controls the mechanical parts 
right so irrespective of the age in which you are if you are interested in learning robotics you can just go ahead and start with the simplest form of creating a motor attaching it making it work and also uh, writing some code research for some code and this or you can even uh, check out the programs which are available in the link which is given below and if some programs interest you do check it out and you can also start learning from us so if you have liked so far what we have shared then definitely give us a thumbs up and do subscribe so that you don't want to miss any more informations which we are going to share and that will also give us an elevation into with the platform so that it can be shared with many other students who would who for whom this particular information would be of great help okay so moving on to the next topic then we also found that uh, there is a doubt on how robotics can be learned or how is that a robot has to be created there are so many questions around where they ask how a robot is to be created or what is the purpose of a robot and why is that a robot and how does a robot look and there are so many questions with the students and the parents like so what we would like to tell is that uh, a robot is created or the robot can be of any shape the first point is that the robot can be of any shape and then the robot is created to solve a specific problem so depending on the problem the, so whenever there is a question asked to us in our academy this is what we tell our students see first you need to identify the problem and to for that particular problem what is the kind of solution you can give with the technology and the learning which you did in your robotics class right say for example let me think of an example say for example you are trying to create a burglar alarm so you need you have a safe and you just want to have an alarm where someone opens the door there has to be an alarm so this is what you have to create for that what is the kind of technology you can use what is the kind of a robot you can keep or anything of that sort so you need a sensor which will identify whether there is a door opening and then sensor will detect and send a signal to the uh, microprocessor or microcontroller and then from that microcontroller an alarm goes on stating that yeah there has been a security breach and this you can even go into an advanced level where you can actually send an sms to a mobile phone where you can actually send an email to the owner's uh, mobile because nowadays we can see our emails on a uh, mobile phone itself so there are many advancements which you can do and these are all what you would be learning as part of the microcontroller and the robotics process right so according to me if you are creating a robot if you are creating a project of a robot the first identifying problem first identify thing is to know the problem what is the problem you are going to solve and based on that problem what are the things is required if it requires an actual mechanical device the mechanical device has to be created and the once the mechanical device is created say for example the door has to be opened with a servo motor or anything of that sort that has to be created and after you create that then you need to fix an electronic device to control that mechanical device and after you create that mechanical de electronic device then you should uh, write a code so that the mechan electronic device is functioning the way it has to function hence you provide a solution to it so there is no particular terminology there is no particular shape or standard through which the robot should look like it is preferably it is customized and it is very much towards the problem you are trying to solve right so this is what uh, robotics in simple is I mean, it is uh, there are a lot of information across the net and uh, you can hear a one hour worth of information but let's keep it simple and this is what robotics is uh, and this is what robot is and this is how you can start learning about robotics okay so uh, as i said as i always tell if you want to know about us do check out the link which is down below so hope this information has been very useful i'm sure this is going to be the simplest explanation of how robotics is or what robotics is and what a robot means and how is that you're gonna start learning about robotics right and uh, if you if this information has been useful to you do give us a thumbs up so that the platform knows and give us some elevation so that it shares with a lot of people so let me come back with yet another beautiful video of uh, with more information and till then it's arun and bye bye see you take care